Good morning, this is probably take six. <laughs> I have been trying to film this video since yesterday, but um, hopefully this will be the time. So, my name is Chris Sedita. I'm with Infinity of Denver. We're off of Havana in Aurora. We are looking at this 2018 QX60. The reason I picked this one out is this is how I would package the car if I were going to come to our lot and buy it today. So I wanted to share that with you. The stock number for this car is QX62556. It's in a liquid platinum with a 3.5 liter V6 engine, 295 for horsepower and 270 foot-pounds of torque. It has intelligent all-wheel drive with a drive mode. It has heated and folding outside mirrors with an integrated turn signal. And you can see the little camera underneath for the around view monitor, which we'll talk a little bit about later in the video. The handle includes welcome, or I'm sorry, courtesy lighting. We'll talk about the welcome lighting a little bit later. It has a power lift gate, and I'm kind of featuring some of the things that I would want to hear about on the car. So hopefully these are things that interest you since I haven't, don't always hear back from folks. I'm not sure what they want to hear about. There you've got your power lift gate. I just opened it using our key fob here. Just hold it down, open up the back. I love that this one is packaged with the bumper protector. Most of the kind of scuffs I see on our used cars are on this area of the car. So it really helps make sure that you're not scratching up your really nice car. You can go ahead and you can close the lift gate using this button. You have eight, so or eight total sonar. You've got four on the back, which is part of what operates the blind spot monitor. You also have a backup camera integrated into the car right here. You've got your four sonar on the front and your integrated camera right here on the emblem in the front as well. The around view monitor works using a combination of the front, rear, and outside mirror cameras to create a 360 degree bird's eye view from the top of the car down. Infinity did pioneer this technology um, and we've been of course perfecting it ever since. One of my other favorite things about this car is that the key stores your climate, audio, and driving preferences. Just in here, this little teeny tiny key fob and it will actually adjust your seat your outside mirrors and your steering wheel to each individual key fob and it has roof rails on the top so you can add crossbars for a ski rack or a luggage rack this car has remote start lock the car hold the remote start button Whoop. maybe i didn't hit it enough Well, it does have remote start. Bear with me here. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and have a look at the inside and we'll try that a little bit later. On the inside, we have a wheat colored interior. I like that the bottom accents are black. The carpet is black. It's gonna keep your car a lot cleaner. You do have your drive mode selector, which I mentioned earlier. So you've got a snow mode, an eco mode for a little bit friendlier um, gas on your driving, standard mode and a sport, revs your car to higher RPM, sportier sound and feel, heated seats. You've got your heated steering wheel, your traction control, turning off your sonar and on, and then of course your power lift gate. You've got steering wheel controls. You have a navigation, your round view camera, and all of these various different things. You've got dual climate control in the front, one for the driver, one for the passenger. You also have climate control in the back, so a tri-zone climate. You've got an eight inch screen, <clears throat> excuse me. And of course you can manually operate and change the gears on the car. If you put it down to drive, move it over to the left, you can change gears yourself. You've got, of course, a powered tilting and telescoping steering wheel. On the steering wheel, I wanna mention the intelligent cruise control. 
and the distance assist which will decide or you can select how far from the car in front of you you want to be when you're using the intelligent cruise control you have of course um, an auto dimming mirror with home link you have a sunroof with window tint on it you have your blind spot monitors this is great most people love this we put ours on the inside of the car instead of the mirror which is heated that way it's not negatively affected by temperature changes Colorado wild temperature changes and this keeps it a little bit safer you've got sequential welcome lighting which will light up the car in various different ways as you are getting into the car to make it more convenient for you you've got dual stage airbags side impact airbags and three rows of curtain side curtain airbags you have backup collision intervention what that basically is is if you are backing up somebody comes from the side or from behind you the car senses that with its sonar and it will go ahead and it will apply the brakes for you so to give you a scenario you're backing up in a parking lot you're at king supers you don't see somebody coming up from your right hand side because you're looking to the left to see if somebody's coming from that direction car senses that there is a vehicle coming up next to you and it will apply the brakes for you this car does have 13 Bose speakers. Now Bose does what's called center stage. So they engineer the car so it has speakers throughout the car to create a basically a an experience for the driver and for the car as if you were at a live performance. I love that. It sounds superb. Um, it has ex exit and entry assist meaning that the steering wheel will lift up as you're getting in and out of the car. The seat will move forward and back to make sure that you um, have the ease of getting in and out of your car. Of course, you've got your lumbar support right here, your power adjustments, your memory seating. Let's go ahead and have a look in the back of the car. Now you can see how these are a little bit off from each other. We've got this one that's slightly ahead of the seat. The reason for that is you can actually slide the seats so you can cut the difference if somebody in the third row needs a little bit more room. Here is our third row. An actual real adult can fit back here. I've had some six foot tall guys sitting back here fairly comfortably. So you can absolutely put somebody in the back seat and they will be comfortable. You can fold up the seat like so. I just pulled on this lever here and move it forward so that people can very easily have enough room to get into the third row. You do have a power adapter, I'm not sure if you can see it, in the back on either side so that your kiddos or folks can charge in the back. You do of course have the latch um, child seat system in this car. You can fold these seats flat, but flat in the second row. You can fold the seats flat in the back row. 